The next tunic in is the vascular tunic, and the primary structure of the vascular tunic is the choroid. Some books refer to it as a choroid coat. That's all this brown stuff, basically, here. Uh, and it does contain a large number of blood vessels and some nerve endings as well. If we pull this open, uh, let me move some of this stuff out, we can see some other structures in the vascular tunic. Uh, the red line here actually represents where the choroid coat is. They just painted it red. And then up front, we have the lens, which is flexible, uh, basically to adjust the movement of light rays. Uh, the idea behind the lens is that when light rays come in, the lens is thicker than air. It can actually bend the light rays to come back here and hit on the neural tunic. This tan area is the neural tunic called the retina. And there is a place on it here, a little pink spot, uh, referred to as the macula lutea, or macula. And that's basically the target for passing light rays through. So the lens has that job. Uh, ray, light rays that are acting divergent, the lens can actually bend them back to focus on the macula. Uh, let's pop this out a little bit and show you a couple of other structures. Uh, we've already been through on a previous video the iris, the colored portion of the eye, and the pupil, the opening in the iris. Um, we also have structures that can help control the thickness of the lens. Um, this area here is referred to as the ciliary body. Ciliary body is here. Uh, there's a ciliary muscle inside of here that's not uh, indicated, but you'll notice also this extension out here of the ciliary body called the ciliary process, and the ciliary muscle is attached to it. And that ciliary process goes all the way around, like so, we go all the way around in a circle. And the ciliary processes are attached to suspensory ligaments that will actually suspend the lens like so. Uh, these models do not have actual suspensory ligaments. They instead paint them in in the back as white lines. Okay. Uh, the thing there is that these are anatomically incorrect, but in reality it would be very, very difficult to have a model with actual suspensory ligaments actually suspending the lens in effect in midair. Uh, but the idea is that the suspensory ligaments hold that lens in place and when the suspensory ligaments are snapped tight, the lens gets thinner for long distance viewing. And when the suspensory ligaments go slack, the lens gets thicker so it can more easily bend light rays that are close up to you for near, uh, near vision. Uh, the weird thing about it is, is that the muscular control here is the opposite of what you would think. When the muscles contract, they actually push forward. That ciliary process then pushes in toward the lens. The suspensory ligaments go slack and the lens gets thick. When you want to rest your eyes in effect, you look off in the distance, the muscle relaxes, but as it does, that ciliary process pulls back, snaps those suspensory ligaments tight, and makes the lens thinner for long distance viewing. Uh, one other uh, item of note here is this pattern here from where the ciliary muscles are. Uh, it looks like a serrated edge. That's simply referred to as the aura serrata. It looks like a serrated edge and also kind of looks like teeth. Uh, so that basically wraps up the uh, vascular tunic. And next we'll talk about the neural tunic and what composes it.